Everybody will be getting started in just a moment. I'm going to wait for everybody to come on in. And at approximately 9.05, I will begin the presentation for tonight's webinar. If you have any questions you want to ask me, you can send them directly through beta.webtalk.co, or you can ask them in the polls or in the comments here, and we will allow um, some of those questions to get through at the end of the presentation today. So uh, again, beta.webtalk.co, there's quite a few things you can do for us because we're gonna use some of the data from that tonight for tonight's presentation. So there's four things on there. Um, there's one is being able to ask questions for the Ask Me Anything, the AMA. Um, the second is giving feedback about web talk. Um, what of our business um, models do you like the most and that it, are important to you? And also asking, you know, what features do you like? What features do you don't like? Um, there's also a way to vote on upcoming new products and services that we plan to launch. So if you want to go to beta.webtalk.co, you can vote on those and we'll prioritize based on your feedback. Another big thing that we're doing right now is we are getting the data to support whether or not um, it's going to be feasible to do a crowdfunding campaign that allows our users to actually become owners of WebTalk. And what this means is it's not just reserved for big investors right now. Obviously, you know, <clears throat> you're going to come find out tonight that we've had over 25 million in total raised from investors, six and a half million in cash. The rest was actually in kind trading equity for services. So software development, legal accounting, um, things of that nature. So we've been very, um, we've been very open with the ownership of the company, allowing you and our partners to own a piece and actually a big piece because a lot of that has gone to our partners. So we're really big about community as you can tell from you know, how our platform is built. And we'll talk all about that when, in a few moments, when we begin again at about 9.05, we're gonna start the presentation. Until then, if you could fill out the survey on beta.webtalk.co, answer all the questions that are there, it'd be greatly helpful for us and useful for our development. Um, if you're new to WebTalk, welcome, and thank you for joining. And if you've been a beta user for quite a while now, since the beginning of our beta, we definitely appreciate your support and we're glad to have you here. You're gonna find out tonight, our vision is much grander than, than you probably could even imagine for a company. And we've spent years and millions and millions of dollars trying to realize this vision and we're, we're very proud of it. So again, thank you all for, for coming on tonight. Um, as we come in here, I'm actually gonna put in the chat real quick so everybody is, aware um i'm writing please visit beta.webtalk.co okay all right so i put it in the chat um please visit beta.webtalk.co to help us grow all right so everything that we're doing in our beta and I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about this actually real quick since we got some time to we'll give you some backstory. Um, we got a couple of minutes before we get started. Um, if you look at Steve Jobs, that's one of the guys that I actually look up to the most. Steve Jobs did an amazing job building technology, but what he did more and a better job at was selling experience. And he was really really good with product launches. Um, he put, I mean, they had to have put hundreds of millions of dollars into the launch of the iPhone. Uh, the iPhone was, uh, and still is a spectacular product. And now there's competition that probably has better hardware, but not as better of a encapsulated experience. Um, but when they launched the iPhone, before they even announced it, the iPhone had become a, not just a, a hardware device with innovative features like the touch screen, but they built consolidated software solutions to have an all-in-one tool for your phone, for your camera, for your media storage. Um, but most importantly, they built an app store 
that allowed developers and entrepreneurs to build companies on the device and you know monetize the Apple audience and, and grow their business through an iPhone. And it was revolutionary. It drove you know people by the masses to build in. Um, but the important thing is before they even announced the iPhone, they had over 500,000 apps in the app store. So to think about this, they built an innovative piece of hardware. They built several innovative pieces of software, including their own operating system. And they built an entire app store to do transactions and brought in a half a million app developers. And they did all this before even launching the iPhone. So it was pretty revolutionary at the time. Mass consolidation, mass innovation, um, mass collaboration. And they did this behind the scenes for years to build this product. And when it launched, it was the biggest thing the world had ever seen. It was the biggest technology that the world had ever seen. So we're taking a very similar approach where unfortunately we don't have Apple's budget starting off. So the only way that we can do what they did is through an invite only beta and we keep it closed and we test products. We're building our mass consolidation. We're doing mass innovation on software technologies from your all-in-one networking experience, personal professional networks to um, our innovative rewards platform to giving the user back control of all your data and our web 3.0 technologies that we've been developing. So we've got a lot in the works as a community that is really geared towards putting people first. And you'll learn more about that again tonight. So actually it's 906, let me go ahead and start the presentation. Um, so Web Talk First is a, let me jump over here, is an all-in-one networking super app that pays users for usage. Now, Web Talk is the future of the networking, our future of networking built to power the new digital economy with more than 1.2 million members across 120 countries. Sorry, it's, it's really storming here in Florida. I don't know if you can hear the thunder in the background, but, uh, and probably my dog too, barking like crazy at the thunder. <laughs> anyway, but, um, and thank you all again for being on. I know it's probably late or early, depending on where you are in the world. Um, thank you for being on here live. And this webinar will be recorded. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to play a quick video for you and wait for a few more people to join in while this video is playing. All right, all right. So that was our video, which you can actually see live. Oh, did not mean to play that again. Let me go ahead and close this out. I got too many windows open. All right. So, oh, being weird. There we go. All right. So, I want to introduce myself real quick. I am RJ Garbwitz. I am the founder and CEO of WebTalk, along with four other of my co-founders are listed here. 
You can visit our profiles as seen below, webtalk.co forward slash andrew.pare for Andrew, our CTO. Andrew comes to us um, from American Express. He was the former vice president of technology at American Express, and he is the one helping us power our rewards fintech. Um, Basit Hussain has got his PhD in data science. He's also one of our co-founders, and he has built fintech for Vanguard and many of the Fortune 1000 companies. Um, Roberto Guerrero recently was promoted to our VP of operations and also co-founder of the company, um, one of our earliest investors in the company who joined the ranks. Um, and Jeff Catherell is one of our executive directors on the board who helps with administration of all things web talk. So these are the guys behind the scenes making it all happen. Um, we're happy to announce we recently took an investment from Cardone Ventures and Cardone Ventures is owned by none other than Grant Cardone. Uh, undercover billionaire, social media business influencer. Um, so we're really excited about this partnership with them. Um, Paul Woodcock, the founder of eHealthcare.com, which was acquired by Health Access. Wes Hobbs, the founder of Blue Ocean Software, which was acquired by Intuit. And 50 other plus other investors who have combined invested over 25 million to develop WebTalk. So we have a huge number of people behind the scenes working to make this happen right now. And we're doing it all without conventional institutional financing. We're doing it because of the support through you guys has just been amazing. So we've done a little over a million in revenue um, since the start of our beta and more than 60% of that has actually gone back to our users. Um, we were paying out 100% of our ad revenue at the initial stages just because I wanna talk about this here in a minute. We've been reselling ads for Google AdSense, which has had um, its challenges. So we'll discuss that and our solution to those um, challenges in the coming slides. So our mission, why was WebTalk started? Well, our mission is to connect the world to trusted professionals and give the world control over their online relationships to make them more successful. Now, this may be one single sentence, but to us, what this means is, you know, imagine a world where you can go to one location and look up people and businesses and know that the data has been vetted, it's verified, it's trusted, people in your network have recommended it, and you can use it for all aspects of your life. You can use it for meeting new people personally, for meeting new people professionally, for hiring, for business development, you name it. Right? So we thought to ourselves, if we can create a trusted digital economy, how much faster could the world evolve? How much more success can people create because of this? Um, and that's really the underlining vision of the company. Now, the vision behind that is in order for this to be successful, we have to organize and validate the world's information surrounding people and businesses to create a safer, more prosperous, and more trusted digital economy. And this is why we say WebTalk was built to power the new digital economy, because we want to be the hub that people go to, not just to, to find and manage and grow relationships, but also to use those relationships to conduct transactions. So that's where our end game is. Now, the problems that we're solving, um, online networking was highly fragmented until now. So we offer mass consolidation, personal networking, professional networking, a channel news feed. So what does that mean, the channel's news feed? Well, you can switch between your personal network and your professional network in your news feed. You can switch between the custom groups through the contact management tool that's already integrated. So you can toggle between your colleagues or your vendors or your investors or your friends or your family. And it's all built in through the integrated and seamless contact management solution built into the platform. We also have a universal profile, which is really, really cool. You can use it for obviously personal use. So you can showcase family photos, nights out with your friends, um, your typical stuff, that, uh, content you would find on other social media platforms, or you can build out your virtual CV and even a portfolio in the photo gallery. So you can showcase your talent and your work uh, and your work history and use that to grow your, your network inside of our community. Um, one of the really Innovative features on profile is the fact that you get two avatars. You get a public avatar, so you can use that kind of as your professional avatar, and you get a personal avatar, which only people that you've added to your personal network can see. And if somebody has access to both networks, personal and professional, your avatar rotates so they can see both. And you can do some cool stuff with animation when those two, those two images if you want to. Um, 
We also offer social syndication, which means when you post a web talk, you have the option to syndicate that content across other social networks. So that's going to continue to grow. We're going to offer more and more options as web talk matures, um, especially with video. So once we launch made a video, we're going to start integrating um, syndication channels for YouTube, Vimeo, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, um, and many more. So we're working on a lot of different innovative technologies to help really save our, our members time and money and provide a tool that can be a one-stop shop where you can come here and you can literally do all of your networking needs for here and for other networking platforms. We built our own private messaging chat app and it recently got a major upgrade. So now we have pop-up windows on web, um, very similar to what you'd find on Facebook and LinkedIn. Um, and we're soon to launch many new features inside of chat. So including group chat and um, uh, media sharing and many more features. User search. So within user search, you can find anybody. You can look for them through um, either their name or company or industry or job title. You can search for anybody based on that criteria. You can also go discover a search engine and look for people with similar interests. So people that are sharing things based on a particular topic or trend, you can um, go into discover and check that out. Uh, we also have recommendation engines and we're getting ready to launch several more. And the recommendation engines will help I'll keep our discover content and newsfeed content and people you may know content fresh. So that way you're always getting new suggestions for content that you haven't seen. So these are the things that are in final stages of development, which you'll find out soon. We're also working on our new groups platform, our new pages for business platform, and our virtual and physical event manager called Event Wave. And we'll talk about that later. One of the other problems that we're solving is that social media is not paying you for your usage of their platforms. They are generating right now, Facebook generates over five billion dollars per month just in advertising revenue alone on average that's about three dollars per user per month in advertising revenue now three dollars a month may not be a whole lot and it may be not worth it for them to share that revenue back with the user because that also varies in developing worlds it's less than three dollars and in developed worlds it's more than three dollars but that's the average so it may not be worth it for them to share it because there's not going to be a whole lot of money and there might be a lot of overhead in that logistics, which there is. So one of the things that we came up with is an innovative way that that, you know, that amount of three dollars could actually grow to something massively substantial. And that's by the invitation of many users. Now, many users can be acquired in multiple ways. One of the ways is just directly referring them. The other is a multi-level commission plan, and we'll talk about that. So we decided to offer that as a bonus to make it extremely attractive to our users to be able to come in and generate a substantial amount of income from becoming members and using our platform and inviting everybody you know. So you get paid 10% of ad revenue share to post news, read posts, and view profiles. How it works is we build it on a point system. Those points are generated based on the amount of ad revenue that's being generated from the content that you're viewing. So we also pay 10% of the ad revenue share when your referrals to WebTalk post news, read news, and view profiles, and when they make purchases. So if they make purchases, you're going to get um, recurring trend, um, commissions on subscriptions and also transaction fees once we launch our marketplaces. So these are very, very important, and we'll talk about this more here in a little bit. Up until now, social networks have censored and mon monopolized your data and until now. So WebTalk offers data ownership. You have complete access to your data. You have control over your relationship capital. So you can filter your news, filter your contacts, dive in, organize them, label them with keywords. You can do, you have full control over your network and your social capital, which was really important to us that the data that you're uploading to us is, is easily accessible to you as it is to us. And that way you have ways to organize it, manage it, and use it for growing your relationships. Um, we also wanted to offer censorship that makes sense. So free speech with a professional tone, allowing all political and religious views. 
We're not censoring data for our own political agenda or our own religious review, um, views. That's not what we do. We're here to create a community that gives the world a voice, um, as long as that voice is adherence with common respect and dignity with the other users in the platform. And that's all we ask is that you treat everybody with respect and everybody should respect each other's opinions and views. And that's how we went about building web talk. We also have our web 3.0 ID that's in development. And what is a web 3.0 ID? Well, it is a blockchain based digital ID that you'll be able to attach to online wallets. So your credentials, your ID verification, which we'll talk about in the next step, all of these things um, can be attached to basically a, a virtual ID identification card um, that's going to be your WebTalk ID card. And we'll talk about that here in a second. So as of right now, there's no way to filter out fake users and data in social networks. It's a big problem. That's why Elon Musk is having a problem buying into Twitter because he can't validate that these accounts are real people and not bots and not you know people creating multiple accounts as fake users um linkedin's got a big problem with a lot of the, the data on resumes being falsified um or embellished so there's a lot of a lot of bad data in linkedin and they have no way to verify that and employers have no way to verify that data until they do their own background checks so for us we're going the extra mile we're planning to do uh, identification verification, work history verification, education verification, and records. And this entire process will actually be gamified and rewarded. So when you do these things, not only will you earn these badges, but you'll be ranked higher in every single engine that we offer, our internal search, our recommendation engines, our people you may know. So all of our verified users, as you earn these badges, you'll be moved up to the top of all the searches to help you gain more exposure in our community. Um, and that's because we want more people to get verified to help us create this trusted community that people can lean on for doing business online and meeting people online. So WebTalk is not just another social network. It is a movement to give the world back control of your data, your time, relationships, voice, and financial futures. People before profit is the mantra we live by, which is why we are giving up to 60% of revenue back to our users and donating 10% of all profits to charity and providing a host of technologies to help improve the quality of your lives. So this is what's most important to everybody working at WebTalk. We want to give back control to the world and share our success with everybody. We wanna be able to create a company that truly is for the people, by the people, um, which is why we're asking for your support with growing us in our community because you'll share in our revenue as we grow web talk. So for years and years and years, web, uh, see Facebook is about 20 plus years old. LinkedIn is almost this old. Um, these companies are generating billions and billions of dollars every month. And that is the potential web talk has as we continue to grow. So we want to actually award our earliest adopters, and we'll talk about that here in a second. So our revenue models. Our revenue models are almost identical to LinkedIn with a few extras. So right now we are actually testing advertising by reselling ads through Google AdSense. Unfortunately, Google AdSense is not a viable long-term solution for ad revenue because they don't pay nearly as much. Um, they're, they're basically a middleman and taking a huge cut. So we're in the process right now of replacing all Google AdSense ads with our own self-service ad platform. But this also is going to change a little bit in our commission structure because we're actually going to pay our users for 10% of the advertising budgets for any user you invite who actually starts purchasing ads in our platform. So if they set a $100 a month budget to run ads or they set a $1,000 a month budget or a $10,000 a month budget or a million dollar a month budget, it doesn't matter. If you invited them, you'll get 10% of that every single month just for referring them to the platform and becoming a customer of our advertising platform. Subscriptions. So we took subscriptions found from YouTube and LinkedIn, um, the premium features that they're already charging for, and we started 
in implementing them as our pro subscriptions in web talk so on youtube you can remove ads um, from all the content by becoming a youtube pro subscriber um, and then you have also pro subscriptions inside of, of linkedin and linkedin are, offers the ability just like web talk does to message not connections see the people who read your profile um, advanced search features but we have a couple of innovative features of our own called spotlight posts which actually will send a push notification to every single person that's following you um, when you turn spotlight on and it will let them know that you have a new post so that is a paid feature um, built into our platform and we have a couple other innovative pro features that no one else has we also are building a new rewards plus subscription so we've had a lot of demand from our affiliates um, rewards members that have enrolled that have asked for more ways that you can get paid all these different payout options more data options so we're actually going to be building those but we're going to be building them as part of a new rewards plus subscription and that subscription will start at just 50 dollars a month and you'll have the option to get it for free by just simply referring three rewards plus customers so you refer three get yours free so that'll have give you that opportunity real quick to to you know, get a, a rebate on your $50 a month rewards pro subscription. We also have talent solutions in the works. So everything we talked about with helping you grow your careers um, and finding work and finding, you know, um, people to grow your online businesses, background checks, all those things are all in the works as well. So from jobs boards to a talent marketplace where you can sell your time and services online directly through our platform. Um, so kind of a, like a Upwork or Gigster, um, and then background checks. So background checks is going to be a service that helps you get verified, um, but it will have a cost to, to go through some of the stages of verification, or you can gamify and you can pay for it by simply you know, watching ads and completing surveys to cover the cost of the background check. So there's quite a bit that's going to happen with the launch of background checks. Okay, so the early bird income opportunity. Now, this is the thing that everybody's very interested in. And the reason why they've joined is because that 30 cents a month, the 10% of $3 in advertising revenue. So it comes to 30 cents. Now that 30 cents isn't a whole lot. So if you are the average everyday person, you can probably invite, you know, five, 10, 20 people to join web talk for free, and then possibly make 30 cents at scale from each one of those people um, per month. So inviting 10 people, you might make $3 a month or, you know, three to five bucks a month from the amount of people that you can personally invite. So for the everyday person, it's not a whole lot of money. It's not life changing. So we decided to do something unique. We decided to build this early bird income opportunity that offers the same 10% advertising revenue share for life. Um, through five levels of referral. So as you invite people and they invite people and they invite people and they invite people through five degrees of separation, um, you'll earn that 10%. So that is actually 50% of all of our revenue will get paid out through those five levels of referrals. Now the tiered bonus structure, um, it, or it is a tiered bonus structure, the earliest burn it, bonus earners earners will have the greatest income opportunity. So if you go into your rewards dashboard, so if you go to rewards.webtalk.co, um, and I'll actually talk about the, show you the calculators here as well, but you can sign in and then, oops, actually I'm signed out of WebTalk, so I need to, So the five level bonus will actually break out for you. And you can see here, um, if you're a tier A affiliate or tier B, so this is the current bonus available. So, so far 1,000 of these bonuses have been awarded, which means or a little over 1,000. So there's just a little under 9,000 of these bonuses left um, for tier B. So tier B includes all current and future reward incentives. So everything that we are currently selling, so subscriptions and ads, that's included and anything else that we launch in the future. So all of our marketplace, our travel, everything else, you'll be able to earn 10% commissions on all that through five levels if you earn the tier B bonus. 
Um, tier C does not include anything future, but does include everything that we offer now, advertising and subscriptions. So, which will include any new subscriptions that we offer in the future, just not anything outside of that. So travel, marketplace, all those things will not be included with the tier C bonus. However, those things will be included with your direct referrals, just not through five levels. So levels two through five will not receive those 10% commissions. Um, and then the growth adopter. So the back 1 million people, so this is the first thousand, 10,000, 100,000, and then million. So we're on tier B right now. Tier C is where, um, uh, excuse me, with, yeah, just all the current reward incentives. And then tier D is um, the five low monthly bonus and just advertising. So you'll get whatever the advertising per user is through five levels with the tier D bonus. So, and then once this is all done and we've maxed out all of these, then it turns over to a standardized one level program for everybody else. So it's only the first basically 1.1 million people who qualify for the bonus that will be grandfathered in to this early bird you know, bonus award and then everybody else gets a one level commission plan. So this is our way of saying, let's give back to our earliest adopters. We're helping to test our community, grow our community, share feedback with us, you know, share content to other users, like help us grow our community and you have the biggest earning opportunity out there. Now, how to earn these bonuses? Now the, let's go back to the presentation. So again, these are all the revenue sharing items, advertising revenue, residual commissions on subscription purchases, talent solutions, marketplace and travel. These are all things that are either live now or in the works. Um, we did partner with Priceline a couple of years ago, right before COVID. We're coming back to that now with the integration of their technologies. So we're gonna be reselling travel through Priceline as an exclusive partner. Uh, so the five level bonus earning potential. Now I'm gonna actually jump over to the calculator, but I did wanna just cover some generalized examples here. So you can see the big difference. Now, this example factors subscriptions if of 10% conversion. So if one out of every 10 people you invite through five levels becomes a pro customer and upgrades for $20 a month or $200 a year to get all of our premium features and remove ads, all the great things that we offer for um, you know, our premium users. But if this example only factors in one out of 10 of people inviting doing that. So 10%. Based on that 10%, we used the potential for advertising revenue as this grows. So again, it's going to be lower now because we're using Google AdSense, but once we launch the self-service ad platform, it'll actually be significantly higher um, because the, the difference between revenue is Google pays us about 17 cents per CPM, or Facebook right now currently is generating about $17 per CPM. So it's a hundred times increase in the revenue per user by just selling advertising directly and cutting out the middleman. So we're in the process of doing that right now. Um, so as you grow the network, we expect the advertising revenue per user to continue to scale, especially now that we're launching more features and services that are going to create much larger engagement, like native video is getting ready to launch. We're working on groups, um, group chat, pages for business. All of these things will really help increase engagement and content, in which the content will then increase engagement, and drive up adver ad advertising revenue. So as a simplistic example, um, if the subscription is $20 a month and you're earning 10%, you earn residual commissions of $2 a month per every referral. Now, if you've earned the five level bonus, that will pay out $2 a month through every pro customer referral through five levels. Now, that is the biggest earner right now. Today, that we have members that are making tens of thousands of dollars just from our pro subscriptions and referring people that went pro on our platform. And they're doing that because advertising revenue hasn't caught up yet, but it will. I mean, we're continuing to improve our ad tech. We're building it right now. Um, we're optimizing ads inside of mobile for a little while after launching the beta versions of our mobile apps. We didn't have any ads at all. So now we're adding advertising into those platforms. We're optimizing ads. So little by little, we're building monetization out and growing the community. But the biggest earning opportunity right now and the biggest help for us is our pro subscriptions. So, and let me, and I'll talk about that actually in the next slide. 
Um, everything we talked about with roadmap and go to market. My version 1.0, we still need to offer native video, um, which is actually going to be powered by Rumble. So we did a partnership with Rumble to power our back end. And that's one of our first integration partners. So you'll be able to syndicate to Rumble right away. Um, if you want to post video on WebTalk, it can go to Rumble. Um, that'll be our first um, syndication partner. Uh, SMS onboarding and two-factor authentication. So text message um, verification is actually really expensive, especially outside of the United States. So that's one of the things that we left for last was the SMS onboarding and two-factor authentication. Uh, with 2FA, it will have text message. There's an option to send you a security code. Um, but outside of the United States, the only thing we're going to offer is integration with authentication apps, such as Google authentication app that can send you a code. So we are going to be integrating 2FA um, because of all the money that's being moved in our system. We want to get that launched before the official launch um, just to provide additional security. Now, one of the questions that was actually asked recently in the beta questions was, what are we doing about security of our platform? Well, we have a robust security infrastructure from hardware to software with multiple firewalls. And now we're getting ready to launch two-factor authentication built into that. Um, so we're going to have multiple redundancy checkpoints. And 2FA is mostly for user issues where you're not using secure enough passwords. Um, but we're going to continue building on security. That is a very important thing to us, obviously, because if we're going to make a lot of money and share it with our users, we want to make sure that you keep your money. Um, because it's going to be in your digital bank, your digital wallets with us until you send it out, All right? And then our recommendation engine. So we're launching some, several new recommendation engines before the official launch to help, you know, um, perk up the quality of the content that when you first join, um, we want to provide you suggested list of top users to follow, show you, you know, popular content that's trending in the platform. So we're doing a lot of these things and we're actually going to take um, and add an extra step in allowing users to give us their interests. Um, so you can select topics of interest and then we can really segment content based on your actual interests. So these are the things that we're, we're building right now. So we built all the thing of it is all the underlining technologies to make the platform work now. And now we're customizing these technologies to be able to adapt to individual usage. So that's kind of the last step um, that and security and integrating all of the last kind of uh, most expensive features and services that we waited until the end to integrate and test, which we're doing right now. And then finally, um, well, we have GDPR compliance check and our enterprise reward subscription. So we will get enterprise rewards out before the official launch. Um, and uh, once all of these are live, then the next big thing for us to do is to do a shock and awe PR and press campaign to announce the launch. Uh, as long as all the, the checks come out and everything looks good, and we're seeing the traction that we wanna see, then we can really start to push the, the platform to market. For version two, um, we're really gonna focus on increased monetization and market expansion. So we're gonna focus on group chat, our groups platform, pages for business, self-service ad platform, mind you, pages for business has to come before the ad platform because it's gonna, onboard businesses and those businesses will have the opportunity to advertise their content and run ad campaigns. Um, talent solutions, again, businesses have to come first because businesses will be able to um, have talent solutions integrated into the platform. Our events platform, event wave, and multilingual conversions. So it is on a roadmap for version 2.0 and to start integrating Spanish and French along with several other languages um, across all platforms. So it's going to be a big challenge because we're going to be you know, trying to work multiple things at one time, like launching new services. So uh, you'll just have to be patient and figure out when we are able to do that. Cause I know that's probably one of the most asked questions in our help desk is can we launch in multiple languages or a different language? Um, so again, we're iterating the official 1.0 launch campaign will be at the completion of phase one. And after the company has scaled up infrastructure to support growth. So to scale millions of users, there is a cost. There is a cost of data hosting and bandwidth that we have to pay. So if revenue is not offsetting that, we need to bring in venture capital, which is one of the things that we've been looking at is talking to venture capitalists and also crowdfunding. And I'll talk about that here in a second to cover the cost of scale for us to be able to open up. Um, let's see. So WebTalk crowdfunding, 
the revenue that we generate from advertising to subscriptions after paying out our rewards up to 60% of our revenue back to our users, all the remaining revenue is invested into new technologies for you to use and enjoy. So everything that you see in WebTalk um, costs millions and millions of dollars to develop, um, to bring to you. And you're using it free of charge if you're you know, a free user in the platform. So every purchase that you make helps increase the value of the company. And also it assures that we have the funds to sustain operation and help us scale. So every dollar counts, every pro customer is extremely valuable to us and helping us grow our community and support our mission and our vision to help the world create more success. Um, daily usage helps increase the advertising revenue. So even though it's low with Google, it still helps to not only provide more rewards to the users, but also um, to fund the company for further growth. So that is part of our crowdfunding. The more you use WebTalk, the more it helps us grow. I mean, that's just the bottom line. Um, it shows the, the data that investors want to see. It shows the revenue that you guys want to see, that we want to see. Um, and it only gives us room to grow from there. It allows us to add more opportunities for implementing ads without corrupting the user experience. Obviously, we don't want to you know, put in too many ads to make it to where you know, you're not enjoying your experience when you're in the platform. So it has to be a streamlined ad solution. And the only way we can really do that is through our own self-service app platform, which does take another investment into tech um, infrastructure support. So we have to do all that and we're working on it currently. We're also looking into the opportunity for all of our users to become investors in WebTalk. And that would be done through an equity crowdfunding campaign where you can buy stock in WebTalk for as little as $500 through um, an online crowdfunding platform. Um, you'd be able to join the ranks of our other top investors. There'd be obviously huge upside potential because Facebook is worth a half a trillion dollars. Um, TikTok's right around there, about a half a trillion. Uh, WeChat's around half a trillion. Uh, LinkedIn is probably there, um, but they're owned by Microsoft now, so there's no way to really, um, really nail down a valuation on LinkedIn. But all these companies are worth hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars um, because you've given them your data and they're using that data to make money. All right. So we want to be able to build a community where everybody benefits. And I think this is the perfect synergy to do it. So if you are interested in potentially investing in WebTalk, we need to know. We're doing a survey right now on beta.webtalk.co. All you got to do is go and say whether you're interested or not. And if you are interested, how much would you like to invest? And we're going to take this data and bring it back to um, our board of directors and our investors and say, you know, our users have spoken. They want to invest. And there's enough commitments here that it makes sense for us to consider a crowdfunding campaign in the near future. Um, so please help us by going to beta.webtalk.co and give us your feedback um, on there. So please join the web talk movement and help create financial freedom for you and your family. There is no limit to the number you, of people you can invite. So enroll now, go pro and invite everyone you know before they invite you. And that's true. So you wanna make sure that you are building your downline right now as an early adopter because the money is gonna come as we continue to increase revenue streams. And you wanna have as many people um, in your referral network as you possibly can you know, accumulate. And that's going to be the sure way to um, increase your, your payouts over time, increase your rewards over time. Um, so there is no cap on the amount of people you want to invite. And before I close out and go to questioning, I'm going to actually show you the calculators if you go to rewards.webtalk.co. So if you go to rewards.webtalk.co, this first calculator can show you if you don't invite anybody, you're just a content creator sharing content um, with your followers on Web Talk. This shows you how much you can make just as a content creator. So if you type North America um, and you can choose whatever region you are, I put an average ad value. If you have an average um, 1,000 um, content impressions uh, per month, you can make approximately $16 a year. Now that's $16 a year more than Facebook and LinkedIn are paying you. So you're not gonna get wealthy off of this, but 
it's still $16 more than what our competitors are paying you. So that's just really, really important to remember that this is without inviting anybody, just as a regular content creator, you can make money. Um, it, you know, like I said, it's not gonna be something you can quit your job with, but it is a kickback that's a better incentive than our competitors. Now, if you continue to get millions and millions of views within our platform as an influencer, you know, top content creator, that's when you can start to see your annual earnings increase. So here, if you're averaging 35 million views a month on your content, you'll make about half a million dollars for the year um, just from sharing content on our platform. And that's how this works. Again, this is using Google AdSense revenue numbers. Um, so this will only increase once we cut out Google AdSense and we, we have our own self-service ad platform. So um, these, are, these are actually low. If you've got 35 million views once we launch our new ad platform, it'll probably be 10 to 100 times this number, um, honestly, once we launch the, the self-service ad platform. So, um, you know, there's a tremendous opportunity for our, our content creators to make money in this platform. When you jump over to referral rewards, and it's pretty self-explanatory, you scroll down um, here, it shows you how you're gonna make money. You also get $5 um, sign-on bonus for every person that you do refer to the platform once they get their first payout. Um, but here you can play with the calculator. Let's say you can invite um, a small number of people, 325, that's too high, let me go. That's weird, this used to be smaller increments. Well, let's do 325 as a referral. So, um, so if we do um, monthly ad revenue, let's say monthly ad revenue is only a dollar, right? And you get 10%. So it's not $3, we do a dollar. Monthly subscription revenue, um, average per member, this is you know $2. So we can actually bring this down. Let's actually be ultra conservative. Let's make all of these like 20 cents. Just so that way you can play with it on, a, on your own accord. I'm gonna make everything 20 cents. So inviting 325 members and you're making 60 cents a member per month. So this is super, super conservative. And this is $20 based on $195 a month in revenue. So again, you have to invite a lot of people to make a small amount of money with small numbers, but as the advertising revenue increases, you can quickly see that starts changing. As more and more people upgrade to pro, you can see that starts changing. Um, as we launch more and more revenue streams, you can see that starts changing. So you can see from the calculators that changes, but the more people you invite, that starts changing. I know why the number is small here or larger here, it's because it's small in the bonus rewards. So on um, bonus rewards, you can see in this calculator, um, the earning opportunity with the five level bonus. So here you can say, okay, I'm going to invite 16 people and they're going to invite three each, right? Um, very quickly, if your ad revenue is a dollar, subscription revenue is two dollars monthly, average revenue, additional revenue is a dollar. At four dollars per month, you're looking at about seven hundred and seventy-four dollars a month, real quick. If you invite sixteen people, and each of those sixteen invite three, and they invite three, and they invite three, and they invite three, all the way through five levels. Now, as you can see, the more that they invite for free, and again, these are you know, modest, if we're not doing $3 a month, we're doing a dollar a month in total ad revenue. So it's a third of Facebook, um, but you can play with each one of these numbers individually. And you can quickly see that the numbers start adding up. And the larger that um, your average referral per person is, so you can see here 16 direct referrals and 177 indirect referrals. You can just see it's the amount of people that come into your, your downline, your five levels of or your referral network, your five levels of your referral network. You can see um, as your network grows, um, these members in here. So what matters is how many members are in your total network um, overall and what the average revenue per user is 
And that average revenue per user is going to continually climb as the community grows um, because we're going to launch new products and services. The products and services that we have are actually going to become um, more attractive because we're going to continue to add more features to them. Um, we're going to continue to make them more and more valuable uh, as we develop them so that we, you know, people, there's, there's more incentive for them to buy them um, based on different audiences. And then obviously we move into marketplace and transactions, all that. So there's going to be a lot more revenue that comes to our platform as we continue to scale it and grow it up and get more users in the platform. So then these numbers will continue to climb. Now, as long as your referral network numbers continue to climb, you're going to be in a good position moving forward. And you want to make sure that these are real people because they're not going to generate, you know, um, they're not going to generate any revenue for you if they're not real accounts. So there, you know, there was a question about what well, doesn't make sense to put, you know, fake users in there and build out your download. No, it doesn't because there's, there's no revenue that's going to be generated from a fake account. Um, we spent a, a significant amount of money last year building um, artificial intelligence technology to detect bots and remove bots and remove accounts that are using bots um, to help generate traffic and engagement. Uh, one of the things that we we had some foresight that would be potentially an issue as we scaled, uh, but quickly I was identified as an issue as soon as we launched the rewards platform. So we did spend a, a good amount of time and effort and money on building uh, artificial intelligence technology to detect bots and remove those accounts. Um, so now it's a pretty automated process. We do um, we do auto remove bot accounts pretty quickly and we don't want them violating our terms of service and trying to manipulate our our rewards program. So, you know, please, if anyone's trying to convince you to do otherwise, do not. Um, you know, do not use a bot because it will get you banned from our account. Um, just do this the good old fashioned way. Use web talk the way that you use other social media platforms. You know, invite your friends, invite your colleagues, invite your family, um, connect with them, share family photos, friend photos, things going on in your work life. Um, the same things that you do on other social media. That's what we want the experience to be here, except you have the opportunity to choose which of these lives that you want to bring here or both of them if you want. You can bring your personal life here, you can bring your professional life here, or you can bring both here and manage it all. And that's the ideal scenario. Um, but our end game is to be able to give the world that utility to be able to connect with trusted professionals. So we are looking for top professionals to make sure that your CVs, your digital resumes are filled out, you're getting references um, so we can highlight you and, and put you at the top of search engines as well. So just remember that it is important if you're a professional to make sure that you're really truly showcasing your talent on here because we as a company are gonna um, help give you more exposure because of that. All right, so I wanna jump back into the um, we'll close the presentation here and give you a little bit of quick screenshots. So as you can see, these are the products across all devices. And then I am going to jump into the chats now. I'm gonna stop the share and hold on, stop the share, jump into chat and say, all right. So there's any questions that are in here directly. Bunch of people saying hello, awesome. <laughs> All right. So anybody else have some questions that are in here? If you want to post them in the chat? All right. All right, so I'm gonna read some of the ones that came in through the beta website. Um, I right here, I was wondering if our investing option was still going to be available. Yeah, so that's one of the things we're working on right now. We wanna, we wanna try to do a survey to figure out <clears throat> the, the new laws of crowdfunding in the United States changed actually last year and they're much more favorable for businesses to choose that as an option. Um, the Jobs Act, which is, um, encompasses three different structures a Reg CF, Reg Crowdfunding, um, a Reg A, which is a state-based um, crowdfunding race, and a Reg A plus, which is essentially a public offering. So the um, the Reg CF now allows up to five million to be raised from customers, um, and 
the kind of the test the waters campaign. Um, and then the um, Reggae Plus, Reggae wouldn't be an option for us, but the Reggae Plus would allows us to raise up to $75 million from our customers. So, and those two have to be done within six months of each other. So essentially um, once a year, we can raise up to $80 million from our users instead of raising venture capital and giving it to rich people already, we can take a big chunk out and, and make that available for our users to be able to buy in for as little as $500. Um, and just putting this in, in the scheme of things, you know, we have over 1.2 million registered um, users of the platform, over 12 million total users, people that are consuming public content without joining. And um, we're going to be advertising. If we did this, we'll be advertising to them. And if let's say we used a, um, a platform such as Start Engine, well, Start Engine has over a million investors already in it. So if we went to a platform like them um, and said, okay, you know, here we're going to do um, a crowdfunding campaign, we're going to, you know, um, sell equity in the company, raise five million with a five hundred dollar minimum investment. Well, that's a maximum of ten thousand investors that can actually get in. And we've got 1.2 million potential investors in our platform, along with over 1 million potential investors in Start Engine. So we believe that it could solve very quickly, but we want to make sure that our users, there's enough immediate demand just from our users so we can bring our users in and give them the first opportunity before um, any third party crowdfunding platform could bring in their investors. Um, we want to make sure that it's our users buying our equity. Um, so that is an important thing if we did that. And so please go to beta.webtalk.co. Let us know if you have an interest in investing in WebTalk. And if so, how much you'd like to invest. And that way we can use that data for our internal reference on whether or not we plan to move forward with crowdfunding. Because um, that is something that is very close in topic right now. One of the things that we had to do for crowdfunding was get two years of audited financials. Um, we did 19 and 20 audited financials. Now we're working on 21. Um, because that is a new requirement going into the new year. So um, we're getting all that done. And then all of our financial information actually will be disclosed when we go uh, do a, a Reggae Plus offering. So you'll have full transparency into the business, much like tonight. Um, you know, we're very transparent anyway. We're an open book. We put our entire product roadmap on products.webtalk.co. So you have full access to see what we've already built, what's planned in the future, um, you know, what our, our end goal is from a product standpoint. And then on uh, about that web tech tech code, we talk about our mission and um, the phases of development. So version one, version two, version three, um, all those things are already listed on about that web tech tech code, So you can get more information there. And let me see, bring in some other questions. Um, okay, so this question here, a few friends of mine had problems with Payoneer and PayPal. We tried to submit what was required, but in WebDog, step three is still pending. All right, so please contact our support desk. Um, sometimes the validation from PayPal or Payoneer can take extra time depending on where you're located in the world. So due to banking regulations, we cannot just give people money without some kind of identity verification happening. And we entrust in our partners like PayPal and Payoneer to um, verify your identity. Now, <clears throat> that money will not be able to go to, um, we won't be able to transfer money from our rewards platform to PayPal or Payoneer or any payment solution until that verification has been um, that verification check has been completed. So we need to hear from PayPal or Payoneer that you've completed your verification on those platforms. And once you've completed those verifications on those platforms, they will send us um, an API token that says they're verified, go ahead and process the payment and we'll process the payment. So make sure it's very, very important that whatever account that you're linking, you've verified that account, you've verified your identity with that account and that goes for paypal pioneer stripe or any other future integration that we do coinbase um, transfer wise you name it so we cannot legally pay out rewards to people until they have verified their identification that 
you know, says that you're a real person or trusting you. We're not funding terrorism or doing anything crazy, um, not violating banking laws. So like I said, that is very, very important. Please do that. Um, and uh, let's see what else do we have. Um, okay. Um, so we don't know yet on um, when we're going to do the crowdfunding, but it will it will be announced once we have an answer. Obviously, um, once we make that determination. So you know, try to bring as many people to the beta.webtalk.co site as you possibly can, so we can get that feedback. Um, it is really, really important to us. Now, all new features that are coming, you know, you saw the roadmap on version one versus version two, um, you know, everything that's in store. If you've got a preference on the order of some of those things, you can actually vote on that on beta.webtalk.co, everything that's coming. And we'd love to hear that feedback. Um, anything that we do have live now, you can tell us also on beta.webtalk.co what you like, what you don't like, what you think should be improved. Um, you know, that has merit that can grow. So we, we'd love to hear your feedback there. Uh, otherwise, you know, there was a few other questions that came about. One of the questions was if you can lower the minimums um, for the cash outs, for the payouts. Um, so that's something we actually contemplated. And I think it's going to end up being pushed into the rewards plus subscription. So if you are a rewards plus subscriber, we will um, lower the, the minimum payout to $50. So we'll cut that in half um, if you're a Rewards Plus subscriber. And that, because that's been a consistent thing, especially from people overseas. So we're going to embed that into the solution. Um, and then there's been some additional requests for access to data, referral data. Um, so we're, we are going to be embedding quite a bit of that into the Rewards Plus subscription. So we've got a lot happening with this Rewards Plus subscription that we're, we're trying to push out here in the next uh, few months. So, um, you know, that is a, a big play for us on trying to help bring more training tools and more data tools and, and you know, more integrations with uh, payment solutions and outside data exporting to our affiliate members. So to help you create more success. Uh, the other big thing they're working on right now is the native video integration. So native video um, has been in private testing for the last couple of weeks and it's looking good. We just have some optimization to do for mobile um, because Rumble is our partner um, for native video right now, which we haven't actually officially announced it to the press yet, but we will soon. Um, Rumble has been developing some APIs because they are also powering the video solution for true social, uh, uh, social network for Trump fans. Um, and, uh, you know, they've been building some new APIs for, for basically both of our platforms. Um, and they're becoming kind of our third party off the grid video solutions provider. So that way content can't be, um, you know, can't be moderated or censored based on political or religious views because they don't do that. So we believe in, in their infrastructure and what they're doing. And um, that's why we decided to partner with them. Uh, we think it's a win-win partnership. And, and you know, we're hoping that this integration will, will go well for us. So I think with that, it's been an hour on the mark here. Um, so it's perfect timing. I want to wrap up here at 10 o'clock. If you have more questions for the next Web Talk Wednesday, um, webinar AMA, please go to beta.webtalk.co, ask your questions there, and we will bring them up and address them for the upcoming webinar in two weeks. So again, thank you all for joining us tonight. We definitely appreciate it. And please support us. Log in, go pro, check it out for, you know, if you upgrade for the year, it's only $100, less than $9 a month um, to help support us. So it's a big deal. And it also awards you the five level bonus and qualifies you in and grandfathers in for that bonus for life. So these are really big decisions, um, are really big things you can do that can help us succeed and also help others become aware of the opportunity. So I will post this video here in the coming days and allow it to be shared 
um, to your to your networks and groups and make sure everybody you know is on the next AMA and have your questions ready. So thank you, everybody. Have a great night, great day everywhere you are in the world. And again, thank you for joining and supporting Web Talks movement to help the world create more success. Take care.